A lot of people called him Blue. That was his Instagram name, Blue Ink. I was around 14 or 15 years old when we met. I saw his tattooing page on Instagram. He had a lot of followers and I liked his tattoos. And I started liking his pictures and he started to like mine. And soon enough we exchanged numbers and even pictures. He would always compliment me telling me I was beautiful and that he loved me so much. He looked like he had his life together. I wanted to be with him. When I was 16, I had left home with my boyfriend at the time, but we had gotten into an argument, and Blue kept telling me to leave my boyfriend and go be with him instead. Blue said I had the chance of getting money, and he wanted me to go with him to Vegas for his birthday, just to have a good time. I took a taxi to go see him in LA. He said we could go to Vegas, but soon enough we were in his tattoo shop, and he said he wanted to have sex with me, and we did. And from there we went to the Motel 6, and that's when the ad happened. He had taken pictures of me and posted an ad, and that's when he started having me meet with guys. I didn't really know what I was doing or what I was supposed to be doing. At the time, I was working with two other girls. When I wanted to leave, Blue told me I couldn't. At first, I had five to eight guys a day, and after every guy left, he came and collected the money. Soon I realized it wasn't just him and I anymore. He would have sex with other girls in front of me. It wasn't like how I thought. And that's when he had his friends go to the motel room and do whatever they wanted with me. And even when I brought it up to him how I would fight back, he didn't care and would just laugh. That's when I started to try to leave. I would walk around the motel room using other people's phones, trying to get someone to come pick me up. But he said if anyone tried to come get me, he would kill them. I was so scared. I told them not to come. He told me my family didn't care about me, like he had talked to them. To my family, it was like I chose blue over them. Soon it was up to 20 guys a day. You never knew who the next guy was or who was going to walk through that door. I didn't know what they were capable of. Some of them hurt me, tried to steal from me, or even kidnap me. Some days he would tell me and the other girls to make $1,000 before the day ended. That's when I started to do drugs. He would beat us and would always keep a loaded gun to point at us and threaten us. People ask me why I didn't leave, but what you don't understand is the threats, the mind games he played with me. I was afraid to do anything or say anything. Even just telling him how I felt, he would beat me saying I was talking back. He took away my sense of trust in anyone. One day he told me to leave, or he was going to kill me, so I left. Looking back, I saw I didn't get to do the normal high school girl things. I saw on Instagram my friends going to prom and graduating from high school while I just sat in that motel room. Soon after that, I saw he got arrested. I started crying from relief. I could finally go back to living my life. I don't have to worry about him contacting me, threatening me, or telling me he's going to post stuff about me if I don't work. I felt free. The other girls called me on the phone crying too because it was over. Finally over.